Hey. Check this out, baby boy. Check this out. Listen, bro. Hey, man. Hey, man. Hey, man. Listen. I ain't on this trying to turn the people against you, Bootsy. I ain't on this trying to pick no fight, no argument, or none of that. I'm just simply, I'm just simply, I was broken hearted. Academic, what's up, baby? You want to go live with me? Let me see something. All right. Against you, John, I ain't need, look, dog, just like you got, just probably wouldn't it come smoke me. I got a thousand, not ask me, can they handle the big on the love of BG on Tudor Raw and all the different that with you and love you? I ain't even on that type of time i love bg the death and what you did for bg while he was in jail we highly appreciate that i ain't trying to discredit you for nothing that you have done for your people or for the community or what you have intended to do for me because don't get it now boosting now i ain't around to put all our business on no the internet like it ain't been times where you done Sit your girl over there and got money from Pakistan for free, not for no features, not for no verses, just just because you needed it. When you were building that big ass house out there and you were spending all your goddamn money and you were out of town and you needed help, don't act like I ain't help you while you coming on the internet. I ain't never told the world none of this type of shit what I have done for you. So this shit stemmed from uh. Rollo saying he don't want to be 60, 70 years old performing on the stage and rapping and doing all that shit. You feel me? You know they say a hit dog a holler. I guess Boosie hollering. You understand me? Boosie, he took offense to that shit. He had a PSA and hell of shit. I'm going to post it. And we're going to go over in the hell of shit. It's like, tch. So don't get on that motherfucker acting like goddamn Rollo just around this motherfucker saying shit. And you got them just done big shit for niggas and niggas ain't did that for you because you have caused a lot of harm to the community. You have caused a lot of harm to people. You done did fucked up things to people as well. So don't be around this motherfucker acting like it's just on Rollo John. Hell no. Nah. Nigga. If you wanted to talk to me, you get on the internet. Nigga, I've been in prison five years and ten months. How the fuck I got your number? Why in the fuck I got your number, boo? When when I got your number? Nigga, you went on a, you went on Brother Club and said that pussy ass shit about me, called me a rat. You went on the internet and you, you went you knew them people were gonna post that shit. You knew them people were gonna make that a big ass motherfucking deal. You went on the internet and did that shit, right? So when I'm out here saying shit, now all your fans and shit want to say, oh, Rollo speaking on boots. What about when he called me a motherfucking rat? That ain't the, see, the thing is, though, you, see, you didn't have to say nothing, Boosie. You understand me? Especially when you was over there picking up money from Pakistan and this, that, and the third. What the fuck? You decide that this, you gonna be on some real nigga shit at this point in time? You could have kept that shit, you feel me? That's crazy, bro. This nigga was, you know? I just don't understand when niggas be having relationships, right, with people, especially when it's a take, take, take relationship, and then you got the nerd and motherfucker want to jump out the window on the nigga first, and it's, it's you know, it's a bunch of, sp hey, that's not what we here to discuss, whether or not this happened or not, I think he's going to get into that too in this in this clip, but yeah, man, this shit crazy, Boosie, like, come on, man, you was going to Pakistan picking up packages. But now yo, I got a federal gun charge, you around the motherfucker crying, to my help you and all this shit, and you wish you could pay a nigga to take the charge like I tried to pay a nigga to take my motherfucking charge. What's the difference? If you trying to tell the security that, you know what I'm saying, whatever situation, what's the difference from me paying a nigga $400,000 to take a charge? What's the fucking difference? Nigga, nigga, y'all around the motherfucker talking about Rollo made it juicy for these people. When I, when right after that, I said I had to like out, I, I knew these people. But yet, y'all skipped, y'all skipped all that shit. Oh, whole motherfucking world. Yeah, Rollo a rat, Rollo a rat. And y'all bitch ass nigga 
Can't name a motherfucking person on this earth, on God's earth, that went to jail for Terrell Rollo Davis. But now, on my, on my side, I'm, I'm able to talk, I'm able to fit. And then the guy was in jail. I was in motherfucking federal prison. I couldn't fight for myself. I couldn't fend for myself. I couldn't get on live. I couldn't do none of the fucking shit y'all were doing. But now, I'm out here in every club. And don't act like a nigga ain't making no money. Nigga, I made $8 million from the rap game. 300 sent me a big old set. Empire sent me a big old set. Nigga, I go to shows every motherfucking week and say, oh shit, pop shit, in the whole motherfucking club. In the whole entire club say, 12 can't stop shit, nigga. Rollo, nigga. I go in that motherfucker perform a solo, say, oh shit, pop shit, and the whole club say, 12 can't stop shit, nigga. And, and let's get this clear. Talking about a rap career. Do it look like I give a fuck about a rap career, nigga? Do it look, nigga, I got caught with a thousand pounds. Jason, tell you, Terrell Rollo Davis don't give a fuck about no motherfucking rap career, you damn fool. My, you would have, have who the ever thought that I would have a rap career anyway? Nigga, I was in the blow selling dope. Then why the fuck is you rapping? That's probably what got you out in the first place. I ain't gonna lie, I don't, really, I don't know one of this nigga's songs. I'm going to keep it G real. So that was one thing Bucci missing. I mean, Boosie mentioned in his little spiel. He like, nigga, you ass and you going to be ass. You feel me? Ain't nobody ever trying to hear that shit. Basically like, nigga, that's why you mad at niggas. That's why he, that Boosie like, nigga, that's where you coming from. Don't want to be 70 rapping because you ain't even fit to be 30 rapping, motherfucker. You suck. You know? I'm like, God. Doing what I want to do. And you up. Look, look, man. I love Juicy. I love BG. I love the little nigga Tudor Raw. Shout out, ain't never been on that nigga. I ain't letting no nigga fuck with him. I'm gonna stand on business. I'm gonna always do right by your family and shit like that. But Boosie, don't act like, don't act like you. Oh, I got, oh, you got my number. Nigga, when I was in the feds and you got down, went on Bravo Club, you had so many niggas around you, so many niggas around you that had a contact on me. You had motherfuckers. Fucking go mouth with it. Nigga, go mouth trying to take you the phone inside the mall and say, hey, Rollo right here. And get what you did. You walked off on the phone, nigga. You walked off on the phone. So don't get up on that motherfucking internet. And nigga, I came. I come. I always come to a nigga like, hey, John, let's go on ahead and get this straight. Let's go on ahead and get this straight before goddamn this shit escalates to another level. Because y'all nigga around them motherfucker, niggas could have had conversations before blood was even shed. And all the time I'm telling nigga, we need to talk. We need to sit down and talk. We need to sit down and talk. Just one conversation can save thousands of motherfucking lives, nigga. You got a whole clan of nigga that's screaming Team Bootsy, and I got a whole clan of nigga that's screaming Team Rollo. Why are we motherfucking seeking you doing this shit? Because I'm telling you, I'm willing to sit down. I'm telling you. Before blood was said, see, and that is strange, bro. You feel comfortable, get on the breakfast club, politic with them, tell them what you feel about a nigga. But you had the whole opportunity. You could have hopped on the phone, nigga. You know what the fuck you did. Or you could have told him how you felt or whatever, and y'all could have got to the bottom of that shit. Now he talking about this blood that spilled. What blood? You feel me? What's going on? Y'all niggas being, okay. Rollo. <laughs> Rollo must think he having a personal conversation with one of his friends or some shit. This is on the internet, Rollo. I'm telling you right now, I'm willing to sit down and talk. Nigga, we ain't even got to. I can show you, nigga. I got. I can show you, nigga. I got motherfucking. I can show you right here. I got all the paperwork right here. I got every motherfucking piece of paperwork. Every number that I ever had while I was in prison. Every load of that motherfucking. I got all my statements of reason. I got all this shit right here. I got all the under seal shit that you want to see. I got everything in this motherfucker. Wayne, every motherfucker seal motion, every document, every PSI. I got every document right here in this folder. We can go to the motherfucking court. I've been having this shit the whole six years I was in prison, nigga. You all right? Yeah. Hey. Nigga, I've been having this. I've been having this shit. The whole six years I was in prison, nigga, and, I, and I'm telling you, I'll pull up. I'll pull up. I'm ready to talk. But y'all niggas, y'all niggas be wanting a nigga to, y'all be wanting to kick a nigga down for y'all can stand over a nigga. Y'all know 
for a fact. Oh, let me cut the light on. Go in my closet because I don't even want my kids. Kids to be on this type of time. Y'all. And you know what else? You see how he was just whipped out the paperwork and all that shit? Half these motherfuckers don't even know what half them words mean in that fucking paperwork. You know what I'm saying? That's why they be fucking quick to speak and slow to uh, listen. It's like, come on, man. You, you know, nice. Nah, it just be like, it just be diabolical, bro, doing this shit. Especially, my whole thing is, right, the whole aspect of snitching, I'm going to say it once again. The whole aspect of snitching came from keeping the information away from the fucking man. Now niggas, it didn't turn into some shit where niggas is using it against niggas. Like, oh, he's a snitch. And then they could put false jackets on it. All type of crazy shit that don't even fucking matter. You know what I'm saying? Because you ain't going to do shit. Nigga know that Rallo, Terrell Rallo, they, majority of these, these niggas that's rapping right now, before live, when it was my mistake, live mistake, that pill spinner Rallo, nigga, I was helping niggas. When it was world star, I was helping niggas. Now that niggas getting paid all that YouTube pages and all this old shit, they don't need Rollo, so they want to step on Rollo and say fuck Rollo and things that matter. But it was a time when all these niggas were coming to Pakistan. You bootsy, you sent your girlfriend over there to get some money. You sent your bitch over there to get some money, nigga. Don't act like you didn't. And, and when she went in there, what she seen, nigga? What she seen, nigga? She seen some shit that'll show you that Rollo ain't never needed motherfucking the rap game and won't ever need it in his life, nigga. So we ain't gonna sit on this motherfucker and act like, like, nigga, you did me a favor. I tried, nigga, I tried to pay you because that I had the money. I could have paid you for the feature. Hey, you talking about, nigga, you act like you the only one around this motherfucker doing real nigga shit. Nigga, I, nigga, I tried to pay you from jail. I tried to pay you from jail. And all these pussy ass niggas that's out here, they let, they, yo, what these niggas did, y'all? They let this bitch ass nigga John Doe pull up on them everywhere, showing them paperwork. But when Rollo get out of jail, oh, I ain't. Niggas dodging me. Niggas dodging me. I'm like, nigga, I got the paperwork. Where you want me to pull up at? Where you want me to come to? I'm ready to show you everything. But I ain't finna get on the motherfucking internet posting shit. I could have been exposed, Duke of Wild. I could have been exposed, Manu. I could have been exposed half of all these niggas out here that y'all think real niggas. I can expose these niggas, but get what? That shit, nigga, I, that shit ain't gonna give me no money. I want some money. You smell me? And doing that shit, that ain't even really pleasing to God. So I wasn't even gonna make it hard for niggas like Duke of Wild, Manu, all these niggas. Manu was never a fucking plug. He was a broker. I go out there to Cali, I don't smoke weed. He know a couple people, he handled the business. He want nobody to ever tell him. And that's what they be saying too. Only niggas is hating a nigga who ain't getting no fucking money. And just because a nigga voice his gripes don't mean a nigga hating. You understand me? But it's crazy, right, how niggas be, they be quick to have a fucking handout or, or whatever. It, it, he say they was dodging him about the paperwork is what I took from that or whatever have you. Or dodging him because they, you know, they didn't. He didn't help them out and shit. It's crazy how niggas be quick to have their fucking hand like this, right? But when it's time to... I, it, see, it ain't even like... I don't even think this nigga was looking at it like that. Like, oh, bro, make sure you had that back for me. But a real nigga gonna make sure he fucking have it back just to show him like, bro, it, I was doing bad at that time. You helped me out. I remember it. I'm appreciative of it. Nigga, here, I'm doing... I'm You I'm on my shit now. These whole ass niggas are fucking abandon you. Act like you ain't helping them. That's Christ. Ever tell on, nigga. So all this old bitch ass shit, nigga, what in the fuck is wrong with you niggas? So nigga, I'm coming on the, I'm coming, and, and guess what? I really honestly didn't even mean that shit to come out my mouth when I was like, oh, I don't want to be like, boo. nigga, I was just thinking it, and it just boo, came out my mouth, nigga, I just be talking, and I just be having fun, and living life, and doing what the fuck I want to do. But, nigga, all these people we ain't even got i'm telling all eight nine thousand you motherfuckers y'all can tell that nigga come on let's sit down let's have a talk because you keep doing that and me keep doing this i ain't gonna do nothing but call some bullshit in the lane that's what i gonna do now you got two power and nigga you in atlanta georgia you crazy man who the fuck in atlanta gonna put you before me if they do that they the dumbest nigga in the world but Check this out, dog. For the love of B. Jizzle, for the love of Tudor Raw, for the love of Juicy Badass and all the different people 
I've been willing to sit down with you and talk to you. I've been willing to pull up with the paperwork. Hey, dog, this is what we're on. This is what occurred. These are the people. You want me to get on this motherfucker and tell you who I was going to pay $400,000 to? Huh? Huh? That's what you want to to do you want a nigga to talk about all these different cases and murders they tried to charge me with you want me to get no last time i got on the internet he say for the love of tootie raw and for the and that's cryptic low key even though i don't feel like he's saying it like that it could be you know uh, like you know underlining though like nigga, you want to fucking come holler at me because you acting like you just everybody in the position you in or you under, like you don't got extensions out here and people you fucking care about and you know how it's going already. It's a trip, bro. I ain't gonna lie to you. Like, but he say Boosie uh, did say his name. That's or he did say Boosie name. So it wasn't just no hit dog holler shit. It really, it was really just like you called the nigga out and he took he shit. He had you know, he right though. But it, it, I ain't gonna lie. As a lately Boosie, that shit been terrible. The fuck is Boosie make good songs? Boosie make, all that other shit. He got some classic shit. So he still can perform that and. Feel me, but y'all, nigga, y'all damn near equal right now. You know what I'm saying? Putting all my motherfucking business on the internet. I almost got a life sentence. I got caught with a thousand pounds. Get on the internet. So I'm gonna go this way with it. If if you ain't willing to come and communicate and talk about the shit, then it, it just won't be out there. Then you just gonna be misled, and we're gonna be all confused together around this motherfucker. Cause whatever you you gotta be. Hey, dog. You gotta. Grow out of that shit, John. You got to be willing to sit down and talk to a man before you even take it to that level because everybody got guns. We got young niggas sitting at the store with guns. Everybody around this motherfucker got guns. Nigga, ain't, they ain't stop making guns when they made y'all nigga guns. Hell, you talking about nigga? And by the way, they never, nigga, when I was 6, 15, 14, 16, they ain't never called me a nigga that sent the hit. Nigga, I got convicted of shooting a nigga. I got convicted of handling business at a young age. And still been handling my business, nigga. Well, well, however you want to go about this. But I'm telling you, dog, that this ain't going to cut it. We ain't got to keep going to the internet saying this. You getting on Twitter and doing your little thing. And I'm saying shit. I'm... Being the bigger man and saying, come on, dog, let's sit down and talk. But he, y'all acting like this shit, me, Rollo. No, it's him. I said on Say Cheese, I'm willing to talk. I said on the last fucking five interviews these folk paid me for, it's I'm willing to talk. I'm willing to talk. But y'all, nigga, before you know it, man. He, he, he actually is being a bigger man, right? Being that he's a younger gentleman, Boosie, you older. See, you pushing this this snitch propaganda, Boosie. For somebody at your age, it just ain't ideal. It's it's more ideal if Tootie and them coming to you or some yo young niggas coming to you like, bro, this nigga ain't right. Well, they more so pushing the line and you trying to hear them out. But for you not to be trying to be, see, and then I ain't gonna lie, right? So yeah, just for you be for you to be pushing that snitch shit, you were a little too old for that. That's what I took from the grow up shit when he was saying. But I, in my mind, that's what I start thinking about, right? Then on top of that, it's like this nigga is being a bigger person, bro, because you call a nigga a rat. You acting, and, and I ain't gonna lie, he being a big person, right? Because most niggas would have been like, okay, this nigga got his mind made up, especially after the little PSA. You fucking talking about nigga, you mad about what you did and all that. You basically so you basically on that side of thing, you feel like nigga this nigga down bad. So it really ain't shit to talk about with you we already know. You already know, man. You fuck around and you you call the nigga that and that's how you feel. Okay, stand on that shit. And yo ass gonna be sitting in motherfucking prison cause I ain't going. I ain't gonna let a nigga do nothing to me and mine and I ain't gonna step by I'ma handle my business. I'ma defend the village. I'm definitely gonna defend the village i got every right in the world to defend myself so it ain't me i'm not being the person that offending the people nigga i'm the the person that's defending himself i'm defending my name i'm defending my village i'm defending my people so you around this motherfucker acting like i did something wrong to you nigga what the fuck i did wrong to you nigga what the fuck what the fuck i did wrong to any of you guys what did i I did wrong. I ain't do nothing. I never did no lame shit to none of y'all. I never did no lame shit to none of y'all. Mind this motherfucker.
acting like I did something to these niggas, like I'm the motherfucking suspect, nigga. Nigga, 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 I have been victimized for you pussy niggas calling me a rat and I'm mad and I don't like it. Cause right now, nigga, in jail for Terrell Rollo Dave, I haven't took a father from a home ever. Somebody, oh yeah, Rollo made the juice. So all you people, all them motherfuckers, get what they did. They ignored the whole, the entire phone call of me saying, hey dog, I had a move. A nigga trying to take his house from me. I had to make a juice for him and make it seem like I knew these people. Get what they did. Cut the whole thing. Oh, Rollo made a juicer for him. Rollo a rat. Oh, what you sorry for? Nigga, I said I'm sorry because you didn't know I was trying to pay a nigga. Hell are you talking about? Hell are you talking about, nigga? Fuck you talking about, nigga? Yeah. Nigga, I said in that motherfucker suffering. I said in that motherfucker mad at the world. I'm talking about about to lose my motherfucking mind, sitting on a prison bump, missing my motherfucking daughter, and a nigga called me a rat. Nigga, yeah, I almost went crazy. Nigga, you know what I mean? The Popped off cause of this shit y'all nigga talking about Nigga who? who it really don't owe a nigga a fucking apology Cause I don't know what a bitch nigga doing behind closed doors Who the fuck niggas think they is? You understand me? Nigga, I can understand if this nigga Didn't led you down the wrong path nigga as an OG right? And then nigga, you feel me? He, he, didn't, he didn't fucking You know what I mean? Cross game and broke the code and all that shit right? So now you looking like damn OG this is how you do, you, you didn't steer me down this road, so it's your fault, kind of, but the nigga don't owe you shit, bitch. Yo, oh, you better look to your fuck these niggas. Ass hold on, nigga. Who? Nigga, it been, this happened six and a half years ago, and still to this day, we haven't discovered a, a nigga in jail for Terrell Rollo Davis. Fuck. How did you talking about? How did you talking about, nigga? I ain't, I ain't know none of that, nigga. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How did you talking about, nigga? Hell is you talking about? We can go paperwork. We can go bam, bam, bam whatever you want to do. We can just go on. Nigga, let's go talk about it. Show me. Let's put it out there. Let's let's show me, nigga. Let's do it. Like, nigga, I'm ready. I'm prepared. We can, I leave this motherfucking house today, even though this the day I went planning on going out nowhere, nigga. But I leave here today. And we can go wherever you want to go, and we can talk about this. And y'all can keep at in the police and shit nigga this ain't got nothing to do with police this is this is homie business nigga this ain't i ain't threatening him he he ain't threatening me yet but however we already know where this type of shit take it. we already know where this shit go with it so before we even get there i ain't gonna say that shit again because i know the blogs i ain't gonna say that the blogs ain't gonna say oh rollo asses for conversation with, with Boosie so we can get an understanding. They're going to say, Rollo threatens Boosie or Rollo this is Boosie. No, bitch, that ain't what I'm doing. So the crazy, another crazy thing that stand out to me, right? So the, imagine they do have this sit down, right? Niggas go over the paperwork and some clarity is came to about the situation, right? Nigga, it kind of find out he ain't told on nobody, all right, it's, which, which, that's the understanding I'm at with it. I don't know where the fuck other niggas, they take them, you know, hear from the next nigga and then it's like telephone. But just imagine having to sit down with niggas, just come to the conclusion, ain't nobody told, everything's all good. We supposed to be poking cool after that? I'm supposed to be your fucking partner, bitch, after you didn't just have me fucked up, nigga? You had me fucked up. You And then, after that, it, it, see, that'll create a cold environment because a nigga like, well, let's pull up your whole fucking history, bitch. Who the fuck you think you are? You know, it just, it's, it highs and you know? How are we supposed to move forward from here when you having me fucked up? And it, uh, you know? Here. And all 8,000 you motherfuckers, once I see that shit on, 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 um, YouTube and on top of the blogs and shit, y'all say, Rollo ain't said none of that. Rollo just simply asked the man, come on, let's sit down and let's have a talk. And both, if, if both of us gangster, we shouldn't be scared to do that. We shouldn't be afraid to come together and talk. You see what I mean? We ain't got to put, we ain't got to bring nail gun. We ain't even got to bring no boxing gloves to fight this shit out. All we got to do is sit down and motherfucking talk. What the hell is you talking about? The hell is you talking about, nigga? And, and by the way, nigga, again, I have said this shit five times. For BG, I love BG. I love what you did for him. For, for little Tudor Raw, he's safe. Nobody ain't gonna, I ain't gonna let nothing ever happen to him. They're my dog. I appreciate him for juicy for a lot of for for numerous other people that I have, nigga. I'm I'm. That's the only reason why. Other than that, it'll be fuck you. But we got families and shit, nigga. We are the leaders 
of a mass amount of people. He a leader, I'm a leader. We got people that's depending on us. Why the fuck is we around this bitch trying to corrupt the world or try to go to war or try to do this, nigga? I'm up here telling you before you even strike. Let's talk about this. Because once this strike one time, nigga, it ain't gonna be we we really won't be able to come from that. We really won't be able to come from that shit. Are you talking about nigga? We really won't be able to come for that. So not only a bootsy, but all these pussy ass niggas, all these rappers that got goddamn some in their heart or some in their mind against me. Nigga, let's talk. Pull it. Where you want where you want me to pull up at? I got the paperwork. I got the paperwork. I got the paperwork. Nobody else ain't got the paperwork. Me, I got the paperwork, nigga. I know what I did. I can show you what I did, nigga. I can show you what occurred. And we and if you don't believe me, I can go right here. We can go to this courthouse together and I'll print that shit out in front of you, nigga. From the clerk. We can print this shit out in front of you, in front of the clerk, nigga, and sit it right low, tell on anybody, and see what really occurred, nigga. How did you tell my nigga? But guess what? I can tell you a thousand niggas that told on me, and ain't none of y'all did nothing about it. And by the way, let me tell you motherfucker something. Let me tell you something. If I would have did some shit like that, who would have did something? Who would have did something? Y'all got dudes around this motherfucker that took the stand. That's it's really scandalous in the first place, right? Because they're tarnishing their name in the first place. They got weird ass niggas who ain't even fucking honorable they self looking at a nigga skeptical. Then you got to go holler at a bitch nigga about the read this shit. We good? No, nigga. the fuck on. You, you see, and another thing too, right, little nigga? Niggas is definitely, I, I can understand too, like, y'all two being involved in this shit, the titles. You feel me? Can can stir things up a little bit more, cause nigga, y'all both probably ain't got time to go through the videos and make sure that's what. But y'all gotta understand that's how this YouTube shit work, nigga. Nigga gonna make the title where the fuck it need to be, so they can click this shit and we gonna get the. You understand me? So just air, yeah, you know. You feel me? Really, there's real snitches, not none of this. Oh, it's my little snitch shit. Real people that have really told on people that took the stand. That's really telling. On video and all that, and y'all ain't did nothing to him. Y'all ain't did nothing to him. And we started screaming, free the bro and free this, but his man around him, motherfucker, who, who told on him, and we ain't did, no, nobody ain't did nothing to him. So why would you think a nigga of my power, a dude of my caliber, would give a fuck? Why would you think I care? He's crazy. I still ain't dove into that shit, but from what I'm understanding, there's some people upset with Woody out there, but he fucking still running around that bitch mobbing, which I don't, that, you know, this weird shit that niggas got going on, they need to just let it the fuck go. You feel me? You finna fuck around and risk your freedom because he didn't diss, he didn't infidel or cross game or whatever the fuck it is. At that point, you should know the game ain't the game. You gonna still keep playing up. You know what I'm saying? But, yeah, man, I think he talking about Woody. If I would've did something, none of y'all wouldn't did shit. And guess what? I still would have been able to screw whatever female I wanted. So, you around right here telling me that you got niggas around this motherfucker making hundreds of thousands of dollars on interviews that have really told. And guess what? You think y'all niggas don't do something to me if I would have did it? Is you fucking kidding me? Niggas get paid to tell these days. Or lie, whatever they doing, you know. I ain't got nothing to do with that. I don't even be on that type of shit. I ain't throwing wood up on no bus, so y'all keep putting woody, 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 all that old type of shit on now. And I ain't gonna say nothing bad about him. And I ain't gonna say nothing bad about Gunner. But I am gonna say, if y'all nigga was so gangster, y'all ain't did nothing to none of them. And I'm not telling you to go do something, but I'm just telling you, why the fuck y'all niggas think I would be afraid of any of you niggas if y'all niggas ain't handling y'all business? What business y'all niggas handling? What business y'all standing on? Who? What? When? Where? How? When it happened? When the fuck it happened? Yeah. Blue wood around that motherfucker enjoying his life, doing whatever the fuck he want to do. Ain't none of y'all did nothing. Nothing. So y'all gonna miss me with the rap shit. Miss me with the cap. Miss me with that. Tell you something out. Y'all calling this nigga rat, this nigga rat, this nigga rat, this nigga rat. If I would have did it, who would have did something? I hear crickets. I hear crickets. I hear crickets. Hell, did you tell me? Yeah, and I, I grew up with all of them. We grew up, I grew up with Woody. I grew up with, I grew up with all of them. All of us, mighty babies. All of us went to school together. All of us went to Detroit together. All of us went to war together. 
went to war with each other and shit like that. So miss me with all this old bullshit. Time out. What y'all nigga doing? Y'all y'all be saying free the man and wearing the man shirts and shit. Y'all ain't handling no business. Oh, but, but when Rollo say some shit like that, when Rollo say some shit like that, man, I don't give a fuck about none of that. None of y'all niggas talking about y'all want to be my friend. I don't give a fuck. Hold up. Hold up. Let's get this clear. Let's get this clear. It took y'all five years to find out that I tried to pay a nigga to take the time for me. If it took y'all five years. So, so for five whole years, y'all had no knowledge that Rollo was trying to pay a nigga $400,000 to take a shot, right? We got that clear to the whole world. If it took y'all five years, if it kind of sound like you want to be niggas friends when you fucking get to talk about, it's really just trying to make sure niggas understand it ain't that. That's really what it is. It ain't, it ain't about even being cool with a nigga or trying to make sure we scrape. It's just about you knowing the fucking truth. Like, bitch, you out here spreading lies on me. That's where I think he coming from with it. Let's get this clear. Took y'all five years to find out that I tried to pay a nigga to take the time for me. If it took y'all five years, so so for five whole years, y'all had no knowledge that Rollo was trying to pay a nigga four hundred thousand dollars to take the time, right? We got that clear to the whole world. If it took y'all five years to find out, what about the five years that I sat in prison and and, and most of these rap niggas ain't send me nothing? These same niggas y'all say my friend, and same niggas y'all say the realest in the world. Ask them before the before y'all found out I tried to buy pay a nigga to take us horse. Did they motherfucking try to try to send me a dollar? Did they say something about my son? Did they worry about my mama? Did they worry about my kids? Did they worry about anything? And all these fuck niggas you saying about all don't owe me money. A lot of these niggas owe me a lot of money. A lot of not these rock niggas, but the street niggas. These niggas owe me money. So get what they want you to do. They want you to say, raw love rat. They want you to say that because they don't want to pay me my motherfucking money that they owe me. And Shit, he say it's convenient. Yeah, man. That's Rollo with his spill. He, he fucking fed up, it seems. Like, because Boosie, he fucking, you know, I guess he early he said he want to be a fucking old ass rapper like I told y'all earlier, right? Boosie took offense to that shit, so this is the message he posts, right? And after that, this is what he, he double back with it. Like, Boosie, bitch, this nigga, we can get it on if it's that. Or we can, either we're going to let this shit go or we're going to get it on, nigga. If for the sake of Tootie Raw, then you should want to let this shit go, basically. Because he's saying, you know, nothing that ever happened to Tootie Raw. But if it get like that, nigga, all that shit he said about Tootie Raw and whoever the fuck else is going to get ugly. Straight up, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Because who the fuck you think they going to ride with? Nigga, they going to ride with their pops and whoever, and they, you know. They side it's really ridiculous though. All this shit is going on. All this shit going on because niggas is acting childish still. Fact of the matter, family, they're running around here talking about you how how booty is Boosie is? He but about sixty? I don't know. But you run around this motherfucker talking about some who's a snitch and who like you finna get out there and you fucking rap ain't you making a hundred and fifty thousand a week? You understand me? So what what, what? What is the, the root of your frustrations? You just is it what the, what's your problem? You trying to still act like you just hella fucking street, huh? Like you just thug the fuck out. When niggas start it, it's crazy, bro. You know what I'm saying? This shit just need to be dead it for sure. I fuck with how Rollo going about this shit, like, bro. Let's just let this shit go and let woo, woo. But a nigga ain't finna keep taking no disrespect. So it's like shut the fuck up, nigga, or it's about to nigga let the bodies hit the flow. Oh, my mama, nigga, you niggas is fucking ridiculous. But, yeah, I don't, I don't agree with it at all. I ain't gonna lie to you. Like, I rather you nigga, even though Rollo, he don't be making hella, he don't be gassing hella hard. It's like, shit, I rather he be rapping and doing whatever the fuck he doing, getting his bag that way, than to be you, making this motherfucker worse. It can be worse, for sure. Yeah, but, shit, y'all let me know what y'all think. Rollo had a point? Bootpock had a point, or what, what, who side y'all on, who y'all fucking with, y'all fuck with Bootpock or Rollo on this one, or y'all just agree that they both need to let this shit go.